It's just me, Ghetto Mama. It's Friday night. It's August 11th. And it's my birthday. Well, I cooked. I didn't get to go out for any birthday meals, but that's okay. Maybe over the weekend. Anyway, this is what I made. I made um, country fried steak, mashed potatoes, green beans that have grilled onions in them, and and garlic, and I opened up a can of Bush's baked honey beans, and for the beverage, butter. Cheers. Anyway, if you didn't know, I'm in Reno, Nevada, and we're having hot August nights here. Not because the nights are hot, but it's hot August nights because of the car shows and stuff. So that's what's been going on all this week. And I haven't got to go see any of it because I've been home. But that's okay too. Because it's the same people every year. When I made these mashed potatoes, I put onion powder and garlic powder in them. And chicken bouillon. And pepper. And milk. And butter. And of course potatoes. Are really good. And this is uh Bush's baked honey beans. They're they're usually pretty good too. Let's see if they are tonight. Yeah. They pass inspection. Now let's check out the green beans. See, I, I grilled some onions with it and made green beans. Muck Mom Baby is over there playing with her dad. She didn't do any muck bombs today because she had the same thing to eat. Like you've seen her eat before, but tomorrow she's going to show you her food, her baby food cupboard. She's going to show you what she's got in her food cupboard. And that should be interesting. It's all Gerber products. And this is country fried steak. It's a little bit too crispy though. I bought these at Walmart. You heat them up in the oven. They're not too bad. I wanted to have fish sticks tonight, but... We have a deep freezer, and the fish sticks were buried. And I just didn't feel like digging for them. We got a beggar here. He's not going to get any, though. Excuse me, but I don't want to cut this because it's kind of... I don't have a knife, and I need both hands. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we did a challenge, a ghetto beer challenge, to find out what beer was the best tasting beer for the cheapest price. So, check out that video. It's interesting, very interesting about the alcohol content in the different beers. And the beer that won was the one that had the least alcohol in it. That was like really surprising. Do you mind? He don't mind at all. So it's TGIF. What's everybody doing tonight? Or have done all day? I did my usual stuff. Clean the house and stay home. Well. You know there's a song. If you ain't got no money, keep your broke ass home. So that's what I did.
Well, I have a little bit of money, but I can't be frivolous. So. Big budget. Oh my god. You know, I bought them dog cookies. And they've had their dog cookies today. They've had like two or three dog treats today. They've had all kinds of food. They don't need my food. I had a whole dish of food out there. Well, each of them got their own dish of food. I should be a lot better if I had barbecue sauce on it. As a matter of fact, hey Cliff, mm. hand me the barbecue sauce. The sweet baby rays. He's looking for it. We have the door of my fridge has all the sauce in it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hard to do stuff with one hand. Okay, so where am I going to put this? I'm going to put this close to my mashed potatoes. Yeah. I wonder what the flavor is on this. Oh, it's honey barbecue. That's really good. I have <clears throat> chicken breast in the freezer. Over the weekend, I think I'm going to do honey barbecue chicken breast. That sounds good. I really wish these guys would quit staring at me. I feel guilty. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, I'm not even up on current events. I haven't seen the news for a few days. So I have no idea what's going on. Usually I watch the news a lot, but I haven't seen it. So did anybody see the um, dollar menu challenge that I put up? I'm not going to tell you who won or anything because I want you to go watch it. You'll be surprised who had the better chicken sandwich. Barbecue sauce on mashed potatoes tastes good. Chippy, no. Well, I'm on Facebook and I got all kinds of messages today saying happy birthday and I really appreciate it. I'm 58, if you wonder. Today I'm 58. I'm trying to think what I could say to you guys. I've been in like a big funk. I've been like really sad, so I guess that's what my problem is. I need to look on Facebook and find out if there's any karaoke or anything going on tonight. I feel like getting out of the house, but then again, I don't know. I don't know. See, having depression, you just feel funky. You don't know what to do. 
I don't have any energy. You could care less about anything. Well, <clears throat> I mopped the floors today. I did what I call the dog's laundry because they have little blankets and they made their little blankets smell like cheese puffs. Their feet stink. Yep. Dog's feet stink. So I had to wash the blankets for the dogs. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Tippy. Let's see, what else did I do today? Oh, I cleaned up the kitchen. I cleaned up the cabinets. Not the cabinets, the counter. I put a lot of stuff away. Like appliances. Usually I have the crock pots on the counter, but <sighs> mashed potatoes won't go down. <clears throat> but we put them in the cupboard and some other appliances. And just, I need to really revamp my kitchen. <clears throat> I keep my spices in jars. Like these jars. I originally bought those jars for drinking glasses because we drink a lot of tea and Kool-Aid and stuff like that, but I've seen on somebody's video that they were using these uh, mason jars, ball jars, whatever. I don't know what kind this is. <coughs> oh, this is ball. To store spices and stuff. So I thought, oh, that's really cute. And I want to make my kitchen a country kitchen. So I thought, well, I'll do that, but I need to get labels for my jars, and I also thought about getting smaller jars. I have some really cute little blue jars that would make really great spice jars. I think that would be better yet. These jars are kind of tall. <coughs> And when I buy spices, I go to the bin at Winco. Because it's cheaper. You can get like, I don't know, like a half a jar. Like a half of one of these full of um, onion powder and garlic powder and stuff like that. For like under three bucks. Just going to the bin. <coughs> Versus buying a little dollar store dollar shaker of the stuff that don't last. I'm, I'm always spicing stuff up. I should show you my counter. Maybe when I'm done eating I will. If this video ain't running too long. I need to keep my videos more short. So who all do you guys subscribe to? I subscribe to a bunch of people. But I have another channel too. On this one I don't have too many subscriptions but my my other channel just Leslie Singh I have more because this channel is relatively new so I'm still working on it
Well, <clears throat> I appreciate you watching my videos, and I think I'm going to cut on out of here, right, because I feel like I'm being too boring, so... I will see you next video if you decide to come back. I hope you do. And high five, gangsters. <laughs>